zeros were there. And uh, that got me involved into civil. Um, I do concrete canoe team. I'm VP academics, and I'm also in the mixing team for that. Um, I also was part of the subcommittee for VP events and VP internal. And outside of civil, I am VP promo for this year's Edge Games, and I'm also um, upcoming blue spell manager for next year. So uh, I guess yeah, that's about it. Uh, so, first question, do you see room for improvements in the main events which take place annually, such as fall, winter banquet, and colloquium? If so, how will you improve upon them? Um, yeah, okay, so I'm going to start with colloquium. Um, I think a good thing about colloquium uh, this year was that it was really, like quite cheap. Um, um, and then the few things that it would improve on is, for example, the bus. We went out and we had to wait for the bus and then not everyone was happy with that. So I think that we could definitely um, stay more closer to the nightlife so that people are kind of a bit more free at night to stay out if they want or come home. Um, so something that would be a walkable distance. Um, also this year we had a problem with Queen's Bar because they, uh, we had quotas to make so that was really expensive on the civil um, the committee, so uh, I know that I think that uh, if I were to organize colloquium next year, I wouldn't take on something like that. I would prefer to have a mixer. Like I think university mixers are a good thing, but Queen's turnout wasn't as like big as ours, so uh, a lot of people on like from McGill ended up talking to themselves because they, there wasn't enough people to talk to. Like that's what happened. So I think that it's like it's a good idea, but we can't really like depend on the turnout, so I think uh, maybe to have a mixer, but on a, like in a public area so that we wouldn't have to make quotas or so things like that. Uh, oh, also for banquet, I think, um, I think it's really good the way it is. We should keep the ideas the same. I think people really like in the fall that we bring in your own wine. I think that's a really good idea. And then in the um, winter uh, that it's open bar, I think that's something that everyone appreciates. Um, the only thing I would improve on is the turnout from you ones. I think there's definitely improvement on that, and I would uh, definitely work with you ones, uh, well, the you one rep uh, for that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what are some ideas that you have for new events that you could plan for the coming year? Um, I think for the coming year we could have more daily events. Uh, some of you reps uh, mentioned uh, uh, mixers or I don't know anything that gaming session, anything that uh, interests students. Also, uh, I would focus on campus events. This year we tried to go ice skating and the turnout was not great because I think most of the reason is that it was far, so not like students are not bothered between class if, if it doesn't fit. Um, I would also like to uh, have maybe a few study sessions for especially U1 and U2s. If you don't really know anyone in your class, uh, it might be hard to find people to study with and often I find that I learn a lot from my peers. So I think that would be a good for those that don't really have anyone to study with. Uh, I also like to keep going with holiday events, like we, this year for Halloween we had pumpkin carving. Uh, it was really fun. And also I have a few ideas for Christmas. We could do something, um, like build something, or toys or things, something charity related. I think uh, Secret Santa is something that we all do anyway, so I don't think that would be suitable. And I'll, I also like to bring back a uh, few events like Civil and Sangria. I think we could definitely do a bit more promo on that. Um, so, yeah. Okay, and your final question What would you consider to be a successful event, and what measures will you take to ensure events meet these standards of success? Um, I think a successful event is not necessarily if the turnout is like really good. I think it's mostly about fun. If people have fun, I think that, that qualifies as a successful event. Um, for example, I think for banquet and colloquium, if non-graduating students or even graduating students want to come back and want to do it again, like they had a good time, I think that's really great. Um, so it basically, if it meets the standards of what students are expecting from those events, like because they're such uh, they're recurring events. For in terms of daily events, I think uh, what is uh, necessary to be good is uh, good organization. For example. Uh, I think the pumpkin carving for those who were there, uh, the pumpkins were there, everything was uh, installed, so we didn't have to wait or anything, so it was kind of, um, you do your own thing and people have fun uh, doing that, so, yeah. Thank you. Does anyone have any questions? Okay, so One of the sponsors for the bridge building team was Moslo's Grill. And 
What do you mean? It's a serious question. So like there's been a big part of the civil community uh, obviously contributed to something, you know. So I was wondering if, why are you guys laughing? Okay, you've been a big part of the civil community, so I was wondering whether or not, uh, what's your take on like doing an event there or a bike with them? With them? With no Coast Grill. Well, if they're a sponsor what? and they want to do something, I guess, um, one of the you mentioned like a food crawl, I guess. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's cool. Okay, yeah, something like that, then yeah. that's feasible. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. How would you, uh, like what kind of events would you make to try to involve people that don't drink? That don't drink? Um, I think on campus events, uh, for example in the, in the civil lounge, stuff that are uh, like gaming session or anything to do with um, activities, sports, we could have um, a one time thing, a basketball game or something like that. Uh, so there's I mean, there's a lot of ideas, and I think for especially those kind of events, um, it's uh, it's going to be up to the council and the subcommittee to decide what they want to focus on, because there's so much we can do, and I think those decisions will be taken at that time with this committee. Yeah. Oh, um, so, like, EP events is like a very time-consuming. Um, Job. So, like, do you think you have enough time next semester if there are other commitments? Uh, yeah, that's a yeah. good question because uh, I'm involved in a lot of things. I've already talked to Dina about this, well, this year's uh, VP event, and uh, basically what she told me is that colloquium I can uh, mostly organize it during the summer, so that would be done before, uh, and then after that, the big ones are banquets. And um, I also would like, especially, I like to uh, get people involved, so I wouldn't be all on me. Uh, I think, especially like the subcommittee that um, the VP events and internal create is uh, could have a bit more uh, decision power making. So we could like they could definitely help a bit more because I was on it and um, we could have done more. So I think uh, it's a teamwork thing rather than just all on me. <laughs> um, so um, for events, what's your plan on recruiting members to that? Um, oh, that's a really good question. So um, I know that this year, the way I got on it is that the it was in the um, the civil column that we received. Um, I think that the best way to do that is to get students, if, uh, like to to tell them what it is first. So I think at the beginning of the year, you reps could talk about. Hey, that exists. If you want to be on it, um, send an email to uh, like the VP event or VP internal because that's going to be a, a joint uh, uh, subcommittee. So I think um, in terms, because that's a bit like it's a, on under communication. I think like it, so you reps and stuff. So I would definitely work with them to get people involved in that committee. Yeah. Does that answer? Yeah. Okay. Um, so we're going to cut off the questions first uh, to move on. Uh, so if you like, uh, sign for 